Today's episode of NCIX Tech Tips is going to be about a really hot topic, and that is LED backlit LCD monitors. Now, the content I have running on the displays, it's really hard to see it in the camera. I understand that, especially once it's been re-encoded and uploaded to YouTube. But what I can see in person here is that the LED backlit LCD, which is here on my right, your left, is able to give me more detail when it's in shady parts of the picture, and it also gives more, more pop, more vibrance to the white parts of the picture without losing any of the depth of the blacks. So today we're going to talk about all of the different advantages of LCD with LED backlit technology. See, I meant to say LED there, but I'd pull it off anyway. What we're going to talk about all of the different advantages, one of which is the improved contrast ratio, which gives you that difference between white and black. Stay tuned for more. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the difference in thickness between an LED backlit LCD and a regular cathode backlit LCD. Now this is the feature that is selling a ton of these displays to businesses that want to save room on their desks or have a nice slick looking office environment. So you can see very obviously that the LED backlit display is only about double the thickness of an iPhone and the uh, regular cathode backlit LCD has got to be at least, you know what, I didn't figure this out ahead of time and I kind of wish I had, but it's got to be at least four times the thickness. So part of the problem is that it has to have large tube lights in the back of the panel in order to light up the front. So those are actually tubes. So that means that if you just had tubes shining at the front of the panel, well, you'd see all of these huge bright lines through it. So you have to have additional layers in between to spread that light out and diffuse it so that you get a nice even backlight. So that's one of the reasons that you've got all of this spacing in here. And one of the other reasons is that you've actually got the power circuitry built right into the monitor because with regular LCDs, it would be quite bulky if you had it outside the monitor. But with an LED backlit LCD, they're so efficient that you can have a little tiny power brick like this, which is basically like having it in line with the cord, and you can power the whole monitor off that with a little plug in the back. So to demonstrate my next point, I've got my handy dandy power meter here. I have the cathode backlit LCD plugged in right now, and you can see that it's drawing about 40 watts when the action is intense on the screen. You've got lots of moving images. And just for comparison, I want to take this one out. I'm going to plug it straight into my power bar, and then I'm going to plug my LED backlit LCD in. Now, the slick look of an LED backlit LCD is drawing a lot of users in, as well as the improved picture quality, especially for text due to the better contrast ratio. But one of the other big ones is power savings. So, cameraman, have a look now that it's uh, recalibrated itself. The LED backlit display draws only 31 watts when it has the same kind of image load on the screen as the regular cathode backlit LCD. So that's a 25% rather, okay, hold on. Yes, it's a 25% power savings if you upgrade all of the monitors in your office, for example, to LED backlit LCDs from the same manufacturer even. So all of the advantages of an LED backlit LCD come at a bit of a cost. You do pay a little bit more for them, but the difference is not all that dramatic when you consider everything that you get. So for the sake of argument today, we're going to have a look at the two LCDs. These are very similar in spec, except for the ones that come as a purely a difference between LED backlit and not LED backlit. So the one on your right is the V233H AJBD. This is same res, same size, it's about a $200 monitor, and then for the LED backlit version, and we're expecting these differences to become much, much closer over time, it's about a $50 premium. So it's a $249.99 monitor, but you get the higher contrast ratio, you get the LED backlight, you get the power savings, and you get the slick looks. So now we've got both monitors running with some colorful sort of video content running on them. This is actually 3D Mark 06. And you can see that the LED backlit display has a much more neutral look to the color, whereas our cathode backlit display actually has a lot more, is more susceptible to things like certain colors popping out too much. Like you can see here, the ship is actually more of a, a yellow. It looks like the color of wood, whereas on this one, it looks like the color of wood with like 25 layers of varnish over it. And we were able to observe that on a number of different applications and almost anything where we see lots of different colors. Now while we don't have a color calibrator handy, it is quite plain as day that the colors are more like what they should be on the LED 
backlit display. Now one of the other things that you're going to notice about an LED backlit versus a regular backlit is that with whites and blacks you're going to see more of a difference. So on the LED one you can see right here that the 3D mark um, stats down at the bottom really pop out more when they're up against a dark background whereas here it has more of a dull look. That's something that is very obvious and when we cut to the desktop background right now, you see the timing was good, you're going to see that we've actually got our white versus black set up on the desktop background. So I know it's really hard to see on the video especially on YouTube but the LED backlit display is able to have a much better difference between white and black versus the regular backlit display. And I'm just going to go press escape. There we go. And now you can actually see it again. So the white is much more vibrant and they are both set to the same backlight settings as well as the same cool preset settings for color. But we really do see a very big difference in person. Now I hope you've enjoyed our episode on LED backlit displays versus traditional LCDs. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe.